All right. It's Big Baba. I'm with Big Captain Jack. We have Captain Jack vlog number whatever it look. We got a fucking bear hibernating. These fucking ice balls are polar bear. Or polar bear. There's a pretty polar bear. <laughs> so if y'all hear some snoring, yeah, that's it. Slim Shady behind us. Slim Shady. Jerry Potter. Jerry Potter. Yeah, he's a... Oh, shit, Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> One of them desert moths. Billy's trying to get sucked out by one of his artists. What did you call him? Jerry Potter? That was hilarious. How loud can I be like about this loud? Alright, cool. The fuck is my shit? <laughs> 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 over there. <laughs> Say, baby, but is I the biggest cactus of all time, aka Big Siege, aka Big Camera Lord, whatever else the fuck you want to call me, okay? Today, okay, I'm with the biggest bapper of all time, Cloud Boys for Life, Extortion Gang General, Billy Black, the Billionaire Black, Billionaire Black, how are things today? It's a beautiful day up in. Bap Central LA, you understand? <laughs> you feel me? We out here turk in the valley. I'm out here with um, Big Cactus Jack. Billy, let's get straight into it. Let's get into some current events, okay? Your man just got released. A couple of your mans. King Yella. My fucking boy. Shout out my boy, King Yella. And one of your other clout boys for life. Oh, so arrogant boys. Everybody who I'm better than. Double O, shout out Cloud Lord. You know what the fuck going on. Welcome home. Welcome home. How do you feel? Your boys are home. You guys are almost like getting rebanded, rebooted. How you feel about things? It's like feel like the old days. You know, motherfuckers get to laugh about shit we did when we was younger and shit. I ain't seen my boy in a long time, like seven years. We feel when we get to go to the world on the past. Like damn, we was dumb as hell, really shooting at niggas like that, doing dumb shit for no reason. So it feel good to be around my people and talk to them. They look at the past and all the dumb shit we did, and look at us now, bro. You feel me? Any music coming soon, or are you just gonna kind of let things? Play out how they do, let like everybody get comfy and stuff in they zone. For sure, for sure, you know, my man's going crazy right now. He's trending that well. I'm at home, um, kick his stuff, don't fucking go down. Then, you know, he's gonna come back and holler at whoever you want to holler at afterwards. That's my boy. Another current event going on right now. I know you guys come from the same city and whatnot. Chicago, you guys are both Chicago legends and whatnot. Mm. How do you feel about the 6ix9ine Perkyo situation going on right now? Oh, Perkyo is not from Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, oh, he's a clone. He's a clone of somebody from he's his. A clone. You know, so how do you feel about that whole situation? What, what would you do if it weren't your I homies? Mean, I mean, one of my homies ain't going for that shit. Cause, but, I, but you want to know how I feel? I feel like six nine just went on their ass and niggas feel six nine be going on everybody. You feel me? Like, no matter if he had that rat tag on him, he still would have been that nigga. Like he be. Pressing nigga, right. but look, Perky over here, a little white boy. He ain't even black and shit. I think. I think he said he was just white or some shit. He ain't got nothing to do with nothing, bro. Like, leave him alone since now. Go find the other one. He ain't sliding for bomb. He said, "Get his ass a jacket." <laughs> That's real. You've officially migrated from Chicago, okay? Like you're officially pretty much an Arizona resident, correct? Yes, I have Arizona ID. Okay. Arizona ID, you're one of us now. Real cactus, you know what uh, I'm saying? Only on the weekends. Compare and contrast. Bro, what are some benefits of being out here? Do you miss home? This, this, this. Arizona or Phoenix in particular versus Chicago. What are some of the benefits, the pros, the cons, you know what I'm saying, I of mean, being here versus there? I mean, number one, the weather, of course, it's beautiful. Sunshine, palm trees, and good weed. Chicago. Chicago is dark clouds, gun smoke, you feel me, and, and dirty hoes, you feel me, out here you got spicy chicas, you got the Mexicans out here, you feel me, they got it together, you feel me, they got the little Chinese out here, they got the little, the little Africans out here, you feel me, the Europeans, that Ethiopian, you know, y'all know, you feel me, like that, and then you know the laws is way different out here, you feel me, it's like the wild wild west, so I love it, yeah. I'm glad you're loving it, I'm glad you're at home and stuff like that. For the uh, uh, upcoming musicians and whatnot, okay? I've always been blown away with your grind as an independent and stuff like that. You got the extortion gang going. You truly have been able to forge a way for yourself and make hundreds of thousands independently as a musician. What are some things that these artists, some attributes these artists need to inherit and to be able to do like you, you know? You, we're, in the, we're in the clout mansion right now, the extortion gang mansion. 
what are some attributes these artists need to be able to be independent and, and have a nice living like yourself? Number one, just consistency. Consistency is the key, you feel me? And you pay the play, you pay what you weigh, you feel me? Like nothing is for free. You gotta invest in yourself, that come out your own pocket. Nobody else don't gotta believe in you, you gotta believe in your fucking self, number one. Damn. You feel me? Damn. That's that's all you need, you feel me? Believe in yourself, put some of the money in your shit, you feel me? Pay for features, pay for good quality music, good quality visuals, you will be straight. Keep dropping consistency and make sure that shit raw. Beat selection, beat selection. A beat will save your fucking song. You niggas will suck ass but have a raw ass beat and niggas will listen to it. So make sure you got a raw beat too, you feel me? Beat selection, you know, be consistent and in investing in yourself. Those are some keys, some real gems from a real independent boss, okay? So to the people who just be like, oh, Billy's only on because he's known for beefing with Chief mm -hmm. for Dirk or da 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 Is that just not the case? No, 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 no. I came out of my pocket for a fucking a lot of years doing this shit. Nobody helped us. Well, nobody helped me. Other niggas probably had help. I always did the shit myself. I rode a nigga wave. I always moved around by myself and did my own thing. So, you know, everybody that think that. Suck my dick, words to my mother. That's valid as fuck. Bing bong. Speaking of those guys, you know, you came up beefing and stuff like that, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I've always been like, how does Billy move day to day? Like, you know, just knowing that, like, there's a lot of adversity yeah, in the well, game and stuff like that. But you wake up, you still, you put on your helmet, you know, you gear out for shoes. war, your big boy shoes, your big Gucci's and stuff, and you, yeah. you get to it every day. You don't let it hold you back. Like, you know, like how? Like, what's giving you that sh the strength? I'm, at first, it's like, I don't know if y'all can hear, but the bear is still hibernating in the back right now. But you know, it's like where I come from every day, it's just like that. You feel me? You gotta wake up and niggas looking for you. I, like I said, our block is one block away from the opposition block. So this is every day I gotta wake up and literally come out of my house and be worried about seeing one of these niggas because they are one block away. You feel me? So, you feel me? I just keep that same side of like mentality. Listen to what my mama told, what my daddy told me since I was a jit and stuck with it and it got me far and I'm still here now. Valid game. You guys are getting a lot of game, a lot of sauce for my man, Billy. Future upcoming plans, Billy, what do we got? We just shot the video, which will be on Duck's channel, correct? Yeah, you ain't never called about it, you know, called on a visual. I'm gonna see if you just slice it. But I got straight coming with all my EG members, you feel me? I'll make sure I go follow everybody. Millie G, Dizzy Inks, Two Guns, um, Mizzy Perks, you feel me? Foreign Dutch, we out here turn. I'm feeling like EG, Johnny Thriller on four now. We unlocked the new character, you feel me? We got some shit going on. He's out here carving away in the desert, making a way, okay? Thanks for coming out here, man, and fucking, you know, giving us that motivation, that game we need, you know, that real Chicago hustle, you know, you're kicking everything into high gear. I appreciate you, all right? It's me, Big Siege, Big Cameron Lord, the biggest cactus of all time. Love y'all. Valley Club, the cult.